Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of this Bash Scripting. Today we are going to learn about how to execute a shell script every day at a specific time. So suppose you have a requirement like I need to run a cron job or something with a specific interval of time. How we can do that? We are going to learn in this video. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. First of all, what we have to do first, we have to check the cron. Okay, so with the help of this command, you will get to know about that how many crones are running onto your system. So just copy this and go to your terminal. Okay, so here first we write cron tabby. Okay, so here you can see there is nothing about the cron written over here, right? So let's add a cron over here. Okay, that will run every minute. Okay, so here you know, just press enter. Okay. So, so here I am just adding every minute. So this is basically a cron expression. So if you want to get more into the cron expression, you need to just Google and you can come to know about the what this expression means, right? So if you want me to do that one, you can also write me down in the comment section, right? I will explain each and everything on that. So currently this is for the star, star, star. That means it will run every minute, okay? So let's copy this scripting and add into our code. So here we go with this one. So I'm adding this my script. Okay. So whatever written in the script dot sh, it will run in a every minute over it. Okay. So this is added. Now we will have to add this line into our script dot sh, which is test dot sh, right? So I think it should be test dot sh. So I need to add the test dot sh. Okay. Just copy this one. Just uh, edit this part so here we have a test.sh okay right control let me just go over it control a s con and control dot control c control x Cancel, control A, control S, wrote, okay, and then move to the next one, exit from this, control X, okay. Now, we have to write the command into our script.sh, this is that one, okay, just we are printing the bast test.sh, hello world, and the current time. So, here we go with this one, so whatever data you want to write over here, you can write it over here, save this, okay, and let's see it will run or not in a every single minute okay if i run this one like uh, slash test dot sh okay and if i go over here text dot sh you can see hello world current time is sunday 10 december it is written over here ist you can see let's see the cron job is running or not so it will print in the next line the same thing it's 9 14 33 Let's wait for a one minute to check that part. Okay. So whenever and let's discuss the one thing more that is here that whenever you just make it the cron tab hyphen E, it will give you all the expression like how many crons are running in this tab. Okay. So for checking the cron job, you need to add this cron tab hyphen E. You will get to know about how, how many cron jobs are running into your system, into your Linux system or any of your server also or if it is Linux based, right? So let's see and check. You can see changed on the desk. Okay, reload this. Now second cron job is run and it's adding over here. Okay, so you can see that it's 14, now it's 15. If it is 15 now and next time if gonna be 16, then definitely a new line will be added over here. That means our cron job is running successfully into our system. Let's wait for a one minute more to get to know about that the cron job is running successfully okay so currently it's 9 15 let's take uh, one minute more it will automatically come over here that uh, reload the disk reload the page whenever there is a return over it's 9 16 is done let's see okay so if i go to the disk and come over here like change to the disk reload 91601 so that means cron job is running successfully 
okay any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day